Sergeant and Mrs. Smith, you are going to love this house. Is that a tub in the kitchen? There's no field manual for finding the right home. But when you do, USAA Homeowners Insurance can help protect it the right way. Restrictions apply. It's time for Thriller Thursdays here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. And now, episode 229, Monster Mash. They sound like they'll break through. What are we going to do? The ship will hold. At least I think it will. I thought these creatures stayed along the river. We are a good distance from there. They normally do stay there. From what I remember, from being here before, they will wander out if food is scarce. Food is obviously scarce. I can get this ship off the ground and we can land somewhere else. There's another way. Bring the remote cannon online. You think we can kill them all? It sounds like there are too many. Scan around the ship with infrared. We need to find the biggest one. Yes, Master. Starting sweep. There is one rather large creature. Lock onto him. Acquiring target. Destroy him! Just this one, not the others? I learned this from Cap Mercenaries. They are starving and they are cannibals. Yes, I see now. They will turn their attention to the dead monster. And since he is the dominant one, the others will fight for first feeding rights. When we wake tomorrow, we will most likely just find skeletons. Commence firing! It's down. You're right. It appears the others are attacking it. It's the beauty of nature. Only the strong survive, and the weak perish. That is us. Ursula, we are the strong ones. Zokar was weak. And what of Hanukkah? I fear he seeks to overthrow you with this small remnant he has of Zokar. I will deal with him when the time comes. For now, I will treat him as an ally. I need him to help gather what is left of rage. And when you've done that? Then he will have to choose to either follow or die. All right, uh, Thelma and Louise ready for the road trip? Absolutely. I'm as ready as I've ever been. Do we have a point of contact in Enterprise? You'll have one waiting for you at Enterprise. That's what I just asked you. And that's what I just told you. Go to Enterprise. That's where we're headed at 8. Well, you have to get to Enterprise first, so it'll be more like 8.15, depending on traffic. There's no traffic with the step. What, have you lost your mind, Jim? No, when you get to Enterprise, you'll go to Enterprise. What? <laughs> Who's on first? Listen, I'm messing with you. I couldn't help it once you misunderstood me. When you get to Enterprise, Alabama, you'll go to Enterprise Car Rentals to pick up your car. Unless you want to go to National. In D.C.? He's just messing with you, Scarlett. He means National Car Rentals. Yeah, okay, we've got it now. So, step aside, Mr. Costello. We've got a step to catch. All right, you two, as I say at the amusement park, please hold on to the bar. (laughs) 
standing by. You are clear for egress. Cleared for egress. Greetings, ye oh-so-weary travelers. Yeah, we're so exhausted after our ten-second trip up the beltway. <laughs> so we're headed to Enterprise. Then Enterprise. Um, excuse me? Don't pay her any mind. Jim was messing with us about Enterprise the town and Enterprise the rental agency. Ah, I see. Well, you don't have to worry about going to Enterprise. Say what? The rental agency. I will have your car parked and waiting for you. Look at this map. The stip is here, and right here is a parking lot. The keys will be behind the gas cap flap. It's equipped with GPS. You have the address for the Tanaka family members? Oh, uh, right here. I think we'll start with this one. According to the census records, he's lived here the longest. That's good. Hopefully he has sisters or other female family members who are original members of the Tanaka family. The wider we can spread that net, the better the chance we have of finding someone who knows him. You have the voice files, correct? We both have them on our phones. They're from Kate's questioning of him in D.C. Good. I seriously doubt that his photo would be much use. Usually, someone who's been off the grid that long wouldn't come back looking the same. We brought a couple of pictures anyway. You can change your looks, but something as simple as hands or ears can really give a person away. These photos, along with his voice, should be enough for anyone who knew him. Remember, he hasn't been seen since about 97. There's no telling how long before that he disappeared. I would say if someone isn't at least in their 40s, you'll be wasting your time. I agree. Well, I think we have everything we need now. Scarlet, do you have any last-minute questions? No. We've talked long enough. Now let's get this show on the road. Well then, all aboard the Enterprise Express. Kate, come in. Glad you could make it this morning. No problem. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Kate. So what is it you wanted to see me about? First of all, congratulations on turning one of those hongans. Yes, it was impressive how you got them to talk. Hongans are very difficult to turn. Well, thank you, but I don't think those guys were at the top of their class. Don't sell yourself short, Kate. Well, I appreciate that, but I don't think you brought me in this morning for that. We want to talk about your performance. My performance? You mean beyond this case of Jim's? That case, plus everything else you've been doing since you returned to work. You handled yourself quite well in Houston and Queens. And the work you did with Agent Simon in Ukraine was outstanding. We did get a little worried when your car took a hit from that drone. I must admit that we all got a little concerned there. We've been going over everything with your doctors, and all of us have concluded that you are ready for full, unrestricted duty. Really? Yes, really. You have performed at a level expected for a fully cleared agent. We haven't seen anything that suggests otherwise. We've cleared it with all of your supervisors and medical staff. The muzzle can finally come off. That's fantastic. I wish it had happened sooner. I would love to have joined the chase with Lenora. I want to see Lister face justice, this time for good. Well, I can certainly understand that. Now, don't get your hopes up about going back into space immediately. We've got a full crew up there looking for Lister and what's left of Wi-Fi. I would have loved to work with Agent Simon again. You know that outer space is my horse. Your horse? Yes, as in what I fell off and need to get back on. Ah, I see. Well, we're putting you back in the saddle, so to speak. So it's a start. I appreciate this very much, Director. It's been very frustrating for me. Kate, you've come a long way since your days with the Baltimore Police Department. We need your assets in the field. Speaking of which, is there anything coming up that might need my attention? Nothing positive yet. But we have a few things brewing. For now, continue to help with this Korsky case. Maybe I could go to Alabama and assist Kelly and Scarlet. Right. And what would Kelly think? Here comes Big Sister again, trying to take over. Exactly. So be a little more patient. You won't be out of the game much longer. Again, thank you for the vote of confidence. I won't let you down.
Well, I don't see any sign of Lister. Maybe this isn't the right spot. It's the right spot, all right. So we should conceal ourselves and wait for him. What's that over there? Where? There, on the ground, between those two big trees. Get your binoculars and see if you can make it out. Yeah, I can see something there. I can't quite make it out. Well, that's quite interesting. What is it? Some sort of body. A really big body. Okay, let's go check it out. Mister had to have landed somewhere. I don't think he would have stayed in orbit all this time. You're right about that. Those shuttlecraft aren't designed for comfort. Plus, there could be up to eight on board. He's landed. Trust me. Uh, speaking of eight on board and only three of us, we haven't really discussed how we're going to take him. Knowing how that coward operates, I'm sure we'll have to deal with the seven others. Once we do that, he'll crumble into a heap like a big old baby. Speaking of a heap, that looks like animal remains. A big heap of animal remains. I think you're right. Those look like ribs. Ribs that have been feasted on by something big. I'm going to say some things big. I've seen this before. This is carnage at its worst. Well, best, depending on how you look at it. I'm guessing this is one of those river monsters you were talking about. And you would be right. This thing is huge. I'd hate to run into whatever took him down. I'm hoping we do. Now I know you have a death wish. It was Lister, or his people. Well, how do you know that? Yeah, and why would he kill one of these? I, I can't imagine it's good eating. I mean, if they were in a shuttle, they should have been safe. Number one, they would have been safe with just one. But a pack of these things, especially if they're hungry, could open a shuttle like a sardine can. Number two, look at its skull. Oh yeah, there's an entry wound right here. It has burn marks around the hole. Yeah, this was definitely done by a laser cannon. Look at all of these footprints. I guess dropping this big fella scared the rest off. No, this is a tactic the mercenaries at the camp use. You pick out the biggest, baddest river monster, take him down, and the others take care of business. Cannibals? That's common among reptiles. Also, you take out the dominant male, and the others will fight for leadership. Ah, so there's a dominant struggle as to which gets to eat first. In all of the chaos, they forgot about you. Exactly. Lister witnessed this when he was at camp. And he was here for sure. Uh, check out these ground indentations. There was a ship here. So where'd he go? He probably realised he'd be a sitting duck out here in the open. I'm guessing he'll land somewhere near the camp, but with some cover. <sighs> then I suggest we start looking. After seeing this, I don't want to be anywhere close to this river after dark. Well, yesterday was an epic failure, to say the least. On the contrary. I thought we accomplished a lot. We eliminated several medical facilities. I agree. We can now concentrate on what's remaining. We've covered all of the emergency facilities. We're pretty certain that Hanaka didn't use any of them. Since there aren't any left, perhaps we can join forces with the rest of you. That will work. We've covered all the main hospitals and private practices. We need to concentrate on the underground. Just how are we going to do that? I don't imagine they have a shingle hanging outside of their facility. I've had Georgia going through all the records here, cross-checking names with what rage rosters we have on file. Georgia, do you have a list of possible medical personnel for us? I am sending the list to everyone's personal data device. There were more here than I thought. I suppose if you think about it, that is what is to be expected. Why is that? Because those who are in the combat arms would be more inclined to seek their fortune as mercenaries. Those who are in support positions would come here where they could put their skills to use. I agree with Agent Slane. Mercenaries are always looking for their next big score. They rarely retire. Well, voluntarily anyway. So, how do you propose we divide these names up? I would assume geographically. Well, that would be the easiest. So how are we going to split up? There are four sections and only seven of us. Someone will have to go solo. How do you feel about doing that? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Why not? I can handle it. She's right, Tony. Lenora was practically raised here. She knows the city better than any of us. And they know her. That's the problem. I appreciate your concern, but like Jaffra said, I was raised here. I know the layout of the city. I can disguise myself enough to get around unnoticed. Besides, if I run into any former rage people, they know that I was Lister's assistant. 
And what if they know you're the one who turned on him? That happened on Titan 3 in the mercenary camp. I can convince them that it's all rumors. I appreciate your concern, but I can take care of myself. Then it's settled. Lenora, which of these areas are you most familiar with? The southeast sector. Then you take the southeast, the Natum Liam, the northeast, the Agents Simon and Slane, the northwest, and Tam and I will cover the southwest. Has there been anything from Drakmar? No, and that's the way I want it. The less we have to deal with him, the better. We're gonna have to deal with him if we catch Anaka. I agree with Jafra. We worry about Drakmar after we catch Anaka. Does anyone see the irony of this situation? I think I do. Really? I'm curious, Captain Tam. What is the irony? Lenore is here looking for Hanukkah when the score she wants to settle is on Titan Three with Lister. Gabby is hunting Lister when the score she wants to settle is with Hanukkah here on Titan 4. And Captain Tam would be right. But if we have both bases covered, if all goes well, both will be captured. Don't you think that's good enough? If you were in pursuit of an arch enemy and someone else got to capture him, would you be totally satisfied? Well... Your hesitation to me says no. I think we all understand your position. We have to look at the big picture. Jaffra's main bounty is Lister. He has three deputy bounty hunters tracking him down. Jaffra needs to be here on Titan IV to deal with the governor. Adrian Simon is right. I really want to be on Titan III right now, tracking down Lister. He is my main bounty. However, I have to deal with politics, so I'm here hunting Hanukkah. I see your point. I just hope you see mine. The obvious solution is that we capture Hanukkah, then we all go to Titan III for Lister. Then I suggest, as Tony Simon says, we all stop wagging our chins and get to work. How well do you know this man? He served as my captain of the guard. Zegman is reliable. I remember him. Why is he hiding here like a small child? He should be out working somewhere as a mercenary. Do not mistake his current sedentary lifestyle for what he can do for us. Zegman is a warrior at heart. He will keep us safe and hidden until we can get rid of those bounty hunters. No offense, Lord Hanukkah, but I do not need his protection. Nor do I. But we need a place to hide until the time is right. General Hanukkah, what are you doing here? My guard and I seek temporary shelter from the IDF. Yes, please come in. My home is your home. This is my personal guard. Yes, I recognize him. It's been a while since I've seen you. Please, have a seat. Thank you. What brings you to Titan? There is a movement growing. I have been monitoring IDF radio chatter. Lister has escaped from Boldabar prison, and Lord Zokar escaped from the penal colony, and is determined to regain control of rage. But word came to us that he had been killed. I rescued him. He is in a safe place for now. We are working as his emissaries to gather the forces to reunite us back to the former glory of rage. But I have not heard any of this. I have seen him with my own eyes. He is ready to lead us back to glory. What is it that I can do? I'm only one man. I haven't been a soldier for a long time. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Have you been in contact with any of your comrades? Just a few, but most of them have grown content with their current lives. They become farmers, merchants, and citizens of Titan. This is both discouraging and sickening. Where is their will to fight, to pillage and plunder? They have learned an easier and much safer way to earn a living. Perhaps we haven't made clear our plans. Rage still exists. It is fragmented throughout the galaxy. The IDF is getting fat and lazy. They employed support corrupt leaders like Drakmar. Their reach exceeds their ability to defend. 
We are growing in number, and with the leadership of Lord Zokar, we will reunite. If Lord Zokar can once again rise to power, then I would be interested in rejoining the cause. I have been told that there is a commune of former members of Titan III. You would be wasting your time there. I heard that Zokar himself and Lyster both failed in raising an army there. Perhaps they didn't have the proper... incentive to join. If you are suggesting intimidation, you would be wasting your time. They live in an area surrounded by ferocious beasts. No one else would dare to live there. Perhaps glory and riches might change their minds. I can tell you, General Hanukkah. A hand that extends riches will be better received than a hand that extends a sword. One down and everyone else to go. That guy wasn't any help at all. It's just like Pyramid said, we need to find older people. That guy was probably about five or six when Korsky disappeared. So, who's next? Uh, Brian Tanaka. This is the guy with the most alleles. I put his address into the GPS. It's not very far. I hope this trip isn't a total bust. We really need to find someone who recognizes him. I think with this Brian guy, we've got a pretty good chance. You know how much of a long shot this is, right? Well, it beats going through stacks of papers looking for the slightest clue. With such a close genetic match, somebody's bound to remember a family member that either went missing or passed on. If they passed on, we should be able to come up with a death certificate. Yeah, well, the way this investigation has been going, it would be as valid as a $3 bill. It's this house up on the corner. And you've talked to him? Yeah, he knows we're doing a genealogical search on a missing person. I didn't tell him anything about Korsky or why we're doing this. Ah, yes. Are you the lady who talked to me about DNA? Yes, I'm Scarlett, and this is my co-worker, Kelly. Please, please, come in. We can sit here at the dining room table. Thank you, Mr. Tanaka. Please, call me Brian. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you a cold beverage? That's very nice, but uh, I, I think we're good. Well, if you get thirsty, I have lemonade, iced tea, bottled water, something stronger? We had our coffee not too long ago, so we're good. Not a problem. Now, what is this genealogy search you're on? Are you trying to find your roots? Actually, we're trying to find a missing person. I'm working for a private detective agency in Annapolis, Maryland, and Scarlet here is assisting me. Ah, private eye, huh? Sounds like a mystery. Yes, our client says that this person seems to have just walked off the face of the earth without a trace. Ah, uh, good old-fashioned alien abduction, one for the X-Files, hmm. Well, as many dead ends as we've come up against, that's not too far from the realm of possibilities. We're certain that it's something more down-to-earth. So is your client looking for closure or just curious? I'd say both. And you think this missing person is somehow related to me? Well, if you can believe the genetics, yes. He disappeared in 1997. Now, this will be very interesting. My DNA is on file because our family's been doing that genetic testing you can do to see what your origins are. We've been building our family tree online. We have a list of Tanaka family members in this area and around the country. We chose here because that's where the science took us. Do you have the list? Well... Here you go. Hmm. Yeah. 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 These are the male Tanakas. Can I write on this? Sure. Now, these are the married names of the female Tanakas who live in this area. Now, this might help expand your search. Now, what information do you have on my supposed lost relative? Here is a current photo of the man who is missing. We think he may have changed his appearance. We've listed height, weight, eye color, etc. There's something strangely familiar about him. Now, if he's been missing since 97, where did you get this picture? We've located a man that we believe is your relative. We're trying to find out why he disappeared in 97. Maybe this will help. 
He was questioned by Homeland Security recently. Homeland Security? That may be why he disappeared. Here you go. What does Homeland Security want with me? I've already cleared my DSS investigation. No, oh, okay. Oh, you can you can stop it right there. I know exactly who this is. As Scarlett and Kelly finally discovered Korsky's true identity, will Gabby and the crew find Lister and will Kate get a new assignment? Find out the answers to these questions and more in the next episode of the Hawk Chronicles, Who Are You?